Good morning, friends. All of you, good morning. Students, uh, this webinar is for counseling for the course MBA with data analytics. Right? And I'm the resource person. My name is Dr. Ajuneet Saxena. I'm working with IPS Business School as an associate professor. And I'm handling uh, charge of this data analytics domain. Right? So friends, uh, I'm sure that you are planning for the MBA because it is one of the best courses in the industry which is available, right? And in this MBA course, if you will opt data analytics as a specialization, it will find a degree with data analytics core course. So this is going to change your, you know, future. Right, and you can plan a successful career with this school. So, in this session, I would like to share some facts with you so that you can take this decision, right? So that you can decide that this is good or not, right? Data analytics will be a right choice for you or not. Okay, so in the next half an hour, whatever we'll discuss, it will be based on some facts, right? So, let's start this. Uh, discussion on career crafting, right? Career crafting with the MBA course. Students, I'm sure that you are aware that the situation after COVID-19 is actually, you know, it is not as simple as we were thinking, right? This is full of uncertainties. Our previous last two years were full of uncertainties, right? And the next you know, five year or ten years will also be based on certain uncertainties, right? So, students, whatever you are planning, you must plan according to this uh, shift, right? So, your decision should be based on the, the future requirements, right? What industry is needed? What will be? Uh, what kind of work environment will be there in future? What kind of a skill set will be required in the future? So in this, in this uh, future, which is full of uncertainties, you will be requiring some, you know, extra efforts, extra skills, right? This MBA course is going to help you a lot in this. Students, uh, as you are starting your career, right, especially with MBA, so. Uh, you can enter in this course with different different backgrounds. Like if anybody is having BA degree, Bachelor of Arts means graduation, then he can opt MBA. If you are having commerce or science degree as well, if you are having background of commerce and science as well, then also you can enter in this course. Right. So it's a course which is interdisciplinary. You are going to learn a lot from related to different things. Okay. So this makes you actually a leader right so that you can lead career uncertainties right so that you can lead a organization so that you can you know handle the sources of a company very effectively right so this course is actually designed in a manner so that you know uh, you can feel 360 degree development in your personality right so if a person is going to start mba Right, so he can feel change just after two years. Now, students at the time of deciding uh, facts that why we require this course and why MBA with data analytics only. So let me share some examples with you. If you are reading the newspaper, then you are you must be observing that every day, you know, day by day, the role of data analytics is increasing in decision making. Right, people from medical science they are using data analytics. People from you know, uh, finance, they're using data analytics. You know, persons from marketing, they're using data analytics. Persons from HR, they're using data analytics. In every subject domain, people are using this data analytics to take effective and productive decisions. So this is fact number one, that analytics actually creates an ecosystem, right? So analytics is actually creates uh, some kind of strength in yourself, right? So that you can take some better decision for the company and better decision for yourself, right? 
uh, i'm sure that you are reading newspaper uh, there was a news in a uh, national newspaper that in these days companies are hiring employees with the help of artificial intelligence with the help of robots right with the help of data analytics so whenever you are applying in any company actually companies doing some analysis of your personality what kind of you are okay companies are analyzing your facebook ids companies are analyzing your instagrams okay and then they are coming to know that you are a asset for the company or not right so on the basis of this kind of process companies are hiring talents in their company i remember a company nishan uh, i'm sure that you guys are also aware of this this company is into the car market right and they prepare uh, the company prepares a you know luxury uh, car a uh, sports car you know for hiring an employee they are taking help of a robot based car so you need to sit in a car then you need to face an interview right the car is going to take your interview okay so there is artificial intelligence there is robot there is a program already installed so the car is going to analyze your facial expression right they are doing a face analysis and the car is able to uh, understand that are you lying or are you sharing the real facts the truth or not okay is your personality is same as your words or not okay so facial expression facial analysis is done by companies like nisha so this indicates that the role of analytics in hr it is increasing day by day in france also you know people are using a robo advisory service right there is a robot you just need to talk to the robot the robot is going to ask different questions to you and these questions will be based on uh, your risk profiling right your profiling of your dependents your inflow your outflow your income and on the basis of that that robot is going to prescribe an investment plan for you can you imagine a robot is going to plan investment for you and robot is going to suggest that tracks you please invest this much amount in stock market this much amount in mutual fund this much amount in fd this indicates that role of analytics is increasing day by day in the financial market marketing people are already using uh, data analytics because you know to handle a customer you require information of background of a customer right uh, what are the contacts of a customer what is the liking and disliking of a customer what is his paying capacity you know uh, on which platform he is available right what he likes what he don't likes or who is how many dependents are there and who influences his decision so all kind of information related to customer it is collected by companies every day right and we people are sharing with uh, we people are sharing our information with the companies through different different platforms whenever we are giving feedback whenever we are sharing something right so companies are recording facts and that's why they are coming with the person to person marketing right individual marketing personalized marketing right so this indicates that the uh, role of analytics is increasing day by day in the domain domain of uh, marketing as well right and same with the other things in covid you know when we are reading newspaper every day we are observing some kind of analytics in our front page of the newspaper right uh, <clears throat> the newspaper houses are using data analytics they are using graph they are using tables they are using charts different infographics just to present the information in a better way right so this indicates that analytics is actually important right students i have a uh, fact with you right look here i have a fact for you uh, from the company mckenzie right you know very well that it's a leading company of the market uh, this graph is showing that you know in future you will be requiring a different kind of skill set if you want to survive in the market you will be requiring techno driven uh, knowledge right technology driven knowledge it skills you know you will be requiring creativity you will be requiring entrepreneurial skills right so from this graph you can understand that the future requirement of the companies will be different from the 
traditional one, right? Uh, in future, companies will hire you for your knowledge of digital marketing, for your knowledge of data analytics, for your knowledge of IT, right? So if you are creative, right? If you are able to handle complex situations, if you can take better decisions, then you will be an asset for the company. So whatever course you are opting, you must check that these things you will be getting in that or not. Okay, after doing that that particular course, you will be able to enhance your technological skills or not. You need to check it at the time when you are entering in a course, especially like MBA. Students, there is another fact that 82% job vacancies are actually, you know, requires digital skills, right? So MBA without digital skills is a totally waste of time, right? You will you will struggle if you are not having adequate digital skills. If you are not good in digital literacy, if you are not good in financial literacy, then really you will you will be at risk. Students, we from the IPS college, uh, we regularly are in touch of industries and we are serving to industries as well. Uh, this is a poster of the our latest. Uh, MS Excel webinar, right? We have organized this for the uh, corporate persons, right? In the month of June, right? So this indicates that we have an ecosystem in our college for data analytics. 81% uh, recruiters are emphasizing on flexibility and adaptability of the students. So students, this indicates that, you know, if you are flexible enough, if you are ready to adapt to change, okay, if you are adaptable for new things, right? If you are, uh, you know, improving processes, if you are improving the customer service, then only you will be, uh, you know, there in the company. Otherwise, companies are not going to entertain you. Okay, so your MBA course, it should be, it should develop flexibility in you. It should develop adaptability in you, right? Students, uh, this is a particular poster. This is from our, our own students such it right uh, he is actually uh, you know doing a very good internship right uh, in the corporate so here you know at ips we believe that our students should get uh, exposure of the corporate right so we are promoting oct on job training from the semester 1 right so all our students are getting on job trainings from the semester 1 they are actually learning from the classroom and then they are applying that same thing you know in the corporate as well right so in morning you need to study in evening you need to appear for the uh, internship right you need to uh, attend the internship at uh, you know some companies mncs students 80 percent employers are considering problem solving skills and creative thinking skills as uh, you know uh, leading skill. So this indicates that whatever course you are opting, right, this course should provide you this kind of ecosystem in which you can enhance your problem solving skills, in which you can, you know, think critically, right, and uh, you can develop your soft skills as well. So here at IPS, we are actually working for all these three skills, right, every day. We are providing classes for soft skill on every day basis. Right, we are you know teaching our students with the help of case studies to develop the critical thinking. Right, so uh, you know our students Akhand Pratap, you know you, you can read his statement from the slide that I here at IPS we believe that data is a uh, data is not the new oil only; it's a new soil for the nation. Right, it, it is new soil for the new businesses. Right, so our our students are expert in the Excel now, right? After attending the classes in SAM 1 and SAM 2, they are good in advanced Excel. They are learning new softwares like uh, Microsoft Power BI, Tableau, right? Students are learning SPSS, R programming here at IPS, right? So, students, we always believe that we must justify the future requirement, okay? So, that's why we are teaching these things to our to a student from the semester one. Another fact which is available here on this slide, and this indicates that communication and emotional intelligence play 
a very important role in business if you are good at as a leader if you are good in creativity if you are able to innovate new things then companies will entertain you then companies will give you a very good package right so this mba course is not only for learning students it is for earning as well i'm sure you are aware that here earning matters a lot and after doing mba we expect uh, some handsome package right so students if you opt mba with data analytics and mba with digital marketing then you can start your career at least from you know uh, 7 or 8 lakh rupees per annum right and this is really handsome uh, income at this scenario of covid right so look here another uh, poster is here uh, she is vishaka from our batch right and she is actually doing tremendous right she is feeling you know boost in her confidence right now she is able to uh, speak in front of public okay so uh, you know here at ips we are giving platforms to students for regular you know speaking skills and for regular enhancement of problem solving skills right students two third of all jobs by 2030 will be based on soft skills right will be based on technological skills and it is survey done by deloitte right so uh, in the same journey right we are also putting efforts right we are you know crafting careers of our students our student juhi gulbari she is doing fabulous in this field right and she is experiencing this change in her personality right students uh, if you will analyze the workforce analysis in future then you will uh, realize that 57% of you know uh, talent developers are focusing on leadership and management skills 42% on creative problem solving skills and design thinking skills 40% is on communication skills right so this percentage indicates that you know uh, in your mba you must learn these things right then only you can survive in the uncertain future or the job market right so in ips we believe that everyone is a strong guy strong person and everyone is unique in in terms of his skills right so don't be a minimum guy student right achieve your ambition right dream high fly high you can observe this screen and this here we are also using data like you can observe we are you know presenting our information that we are providing regular mba with on job training with excellent placement with data analytics training and we are using numbers right So this is utility of data analytics, right? So here at IPS, you know, we are always uh, available here. We are willing to take challenges with the new students. So if you feel that uh, you can do miracles in future, you want to achieve something, you want to achieve your ambition, then this will be the right platform for you, the right course for you here at IPS. now students after all this discussion now what should be your winning choice so students for your course you must go with the techno driven management right techno management savvy course right so you have to be techno management savvy person right so from the semester 1 of the course you need to work hard for learning new skills of data analytics for learning new skills of digital marketing new skills of you know some softwares which will be actually important students here at ips we believe that network is your net worth okay so that's why we have a very good alumni base here and we believe that in mba course you should develop your strong network because that network is actually going to help you a lot in finding a good internship finding a good placement 
and you know uh, this will be your real net worth or package right so that's why we are placing our students from semester 1 for ogt on job training right so till the last semester you will get exposure of at least four five internships here at ips right and you will be able to develop your network as well which will play as a role as a network right these are some glimpses of the corporate world our student another student you know he is doing very good here, here at ips right and he is uh, actually doing good in his internship as well right so students in short you will be requiring heterogeneous skill set heterogeneous means a set of new skill sets different skill sets right so you need to behave like this picture look here you should have multiple hands right you should be a good content writer as well you should be a good manager as well you should be a good leader as well you should have good negotiation skills you should have good communication skills right and you should be sound enough in analyzing data pattern trends okay so your course should have heterogeneous skill set students here at ips we have a very big team of faculties and all are you know great learners they are they are doing really good here at, at your screen we have uh, dr ashish sharma he is a uh, strategic head here at ips he is associate director so students uh, as you can observe that he is having a very good research portfolio right so this indicates that all faculties here at ips are actually research oriented okay so we will help you a lot in uh, you know developing research acumen because research will also play very important role in future so students uh, now you need to think about these options finance hr sales logistics and data analytics right data analytics will be a actually very very important uh, domain for you students uh, you can look at you know six books from the rtu right these are written by the eminent faculties of our college ips these are on at your screen okay dr parul arora dr uh, you know dr sudhir dr uh, ankita you know we have a very good team who are uh, which are having very good background of you know knowledge now students uh, so i think this is this passage is clear to you that you need to be innovative right uh, it doesn't matter that what you are doing what matters that you know you should have clarity of thoughts right so here we have done a comparative analysis of pgdbm and mba and you can find that mba is a you know optimum utility based course here you will get the best utility of a single rupee every rupee which you are paying right so it's a degree right uh, here you will get employment right uh, here you will learn everything which is actually available uh, in the corporate right so you will get practical exposure here so students uh, i think you are clear with the thoughts that you need an mba right and especially from the ips right from uh, our college because you know we are looking for development of every student of our batch if a student is sitting with at the last row that student is also matters to us that student is also important to us right so success is loading uh, decide quickly right and start your journey one thing i can assure you that this is not a simple post graduate degree right it is not just an another post graduate degree you can observe from the screen that there is a difference between apple and oranges this mba is like an apple it is different from the other post graduation degrees like mcom mib and other other uh, courses so students uh, our college is having a 15 years of legacy it is 
AICT approved college and uh, you know it is RTU accredited college, right? So whatever degree you are getting from here, it is actually authentic, right? And certified by AICT and uh, UGC. So here at IPS, you know you will feel like this that you are different, right? You are not just like some crowd. Here we believe on professional. Here we focus on professional skills, right? Uh, we believe in best placement, best OGP, right? Uh, we believe in research-oriented knowledge, right? So we are giving live projects to the students. We are giving case studies to the students. We are giving chance to the students so that they can collect real data from the market, so that they can analyze real data from the market, right? These are some glimpses of OGP, right? Our our students Akshay Kardika, he is a management intern in HR, right? In this particular company. Uh, students here, we believe that digital training is actually must. So here is the outcome. Our student Manasvi, she is doing excellent in her internship. Students here, we have clubs as well, skills oriented clubs. And these are to boost your hobbies. So if you have some good hobbies, then you can enhance by entering these clubs. You can take participate in these clubs. Okay, Tamanna, she is doing excellent. You know, she is a member of clubs. Uh, students, our unique OGP method is our USP. Right? We believe that practical learning is important. Right? In MBA. Bookish information is not sufficient, right? You require exposure of corporate, you require exposure of industries. So we have an OGT system from semester one. We'll and we'll provide you on the job trainings. We have a very good network of companies, right? Uh, so our students from the SAM one, they are actually into internship. And all these facts which are sharing here on your screen, these are real facts. These are not decorated facts. Our student Julie, she is doing fabulous in her internship at SLA Prevention Solutions as a management trainee. Akshita, she is doing very good in Red Cube. Vishakha, she is working with the Bank of Vadoda. Pragya, Pragya is working with the Bank of Vadoda and Vijaya Bank. Right? So, students, I believe that I have shared some valuable facts with you. Right? If you need any special personalized counseling, then this is the number on your screen. You can call us anytime. You can visit our campus. It is available in the heart of the city, just nearby Mansrover Metro Station. You can visit any day with your parents, right? So, uh, at last, I can say that if you will join this course, MBA with Data Analytics, you will be able to justify your skill set, you will be able to justify your targets, you will be able to achieve your uh, plans. Okay, so this is always welcome in our family, right? Decide as soon as possible. Admissions are open. Okay, <clears throat> call us on this number for any query. Thank you so much.